Hello everyone, how are you today? Okay, I hope all of you doing great at home, ya. Okay, now today we talk about in this new unit, in unit 7. In this unit 7, we talk about magnets and their properties. Okay, but don't forget to prepare your book, ya. If you want to take a note, it's okay. Okay, next. What will you learn to do in this unit? I want you to learn this. Identify the properties of magnets and magnetic materials. Are you ready? Okay. All kinds of magnets. Magnets can attract magnetic materials. Magnets can attract magnetic materials like this. Magnets, not all magnets are the same shapes or size. The some are round, some are bar shaped, some are shaped like a ring or horseshoe, can attract magnetic material. So, one of them are one and the other. Magnets, not the same size or shape. Ah, now, I have the questions. Match the name of each magnet to the correct picture on the right. Now, I have some options. I have six options about the name of the magnets. One about bar magnet, horseshoe magnet, circular magnet, U-shaped magnet, cylindrical magnet, and ring magnet. Nah, this is the picture of this description. Nah, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Nah, A, which look this picture? What the name of this picture? What the description? Good job. Horseshoe magnet. Horseshoe. You can write down in your book. Horseshoe magnet. And then next B. Good. Ring magnet. Ring magnet. And then C. Yes. Circular magnet. Circular magnet. And then D. Yes. Cylindrical magnet. Cylindrical magnet and E U shape magnet. Good U shape magnet and then and F yes bar magnet. Okay, finish. You can write down in your book. Next, yeah, magnetic materials. Okay, we talk about magnetic materials. Some materials are magnetic. This means that they attract. It means that pull and towards each other. Magnetic materials are usually made from metal. But not all metals are magnetic. To find, to find out if an object is a magnetic, you can use a magnet. Like this, yeah, you can use like this. A magnetic object will be pulled towards the magnet. Or it will stick to the magnet. So it means that it means that the material is magnetic material if like this. Yeah, a magnetic object will be pulled towards the magnet and it will stick to the magnet. Next. Like this, yeah. The magnetic attracting metals paper clips. Now magnet can attract other magnets as well as magnetic materials. All we call magnetic materials. Next question. Use your result from the discovery activity above and what you learn about the properties of magnetic materials in theme 1 to answer this question. Write if its sentence is true or false. Now I have five questions. You can use true or false. A plastic plate is magnetic. True or false? 
Good job. False, because plastic is not magnetic. And then, a fabric doll is not magnetic. Good job. True. And then, a glass is magnetic. Good job. False, because a glass is not magnetic. And D. An iron nail is magnetic. True or not? Yes, true. And then a ceramic clay cup is not magnetic. Yes, true. Good job. Next, ya. Yeah. The magnetic field around a magnet. In earlier years, you learned about forces such as electricity, gravity, and friction. Magnetism is also a type of force. It means that we have the three options. Magnetic produce an area of magnetic force around them. This is called a magnetic field. Magnetic field are invisible. We cannot see them. A magnetic force can work at a distance. This means it can work without touching a magnetic materials. Scientists draw a simple diagram to show the magnetic fields as the diagram on the right. Nah. Iron fillings are very tiny. Always use them in a sealed container. They can be dangerous if you breathe them in. Nah. Nah, this is the magnet. We have the north and south poles of magnet. North and South Poles of Magnets Bar magnets have two ends. Each end has a magnetic pole. But not, this is called not bar magnet but U-shaped magnet. One end is the North Pole. The red one, usually color red, is North. And then, the other end is the South Pole, usually green. Or blue like this so the same poles of two magnet push away from each other we say they repel each at each other when we put the south pole of one magnet near the south pole of another magnet they repel each other when we put the north pole next to another north pole the magnet also repel each other when we place the north and south poles near each other, they pull toward each other. They attract each other. Remember, if the magnets attract, the touching poles must be north and south. If the poles repel, the touching poles must be the south and south or north and north. More about the north and south pole of magnets. The north and south poles are in different places in on different magnet. Draw the magnets label then show where the poles are. Now I have three magnets: ring magnets, horse shoe magnet, and yes, silk. What the call is this? Yes, yeah, circular magnet. Nah, now I want you to label where's the north and where's the south. Finish. Nah, this is the answer. The red color is north and the blue or gray color is south. Like this. Finish. Okay. Next about magnetism. Ferromagnetic materials. Some materials are ferromagnetic. This means they are attracted by magnets. They can also be magnets to become magnets. Metal paper clips and iron nails are normally not magnets. They can become magnet because they are ferromagnetic. Because they are attracted by magnet, yeah. And then we can turn them into magnets by stroking them with a magnet like this. How to make an iron nail become magnet materials like this? 
If you stroke an iron nail with one end of magnet, you can turn the nail into a magnet. Make sure you keep stroking the nails in only one direction with the same end of the magnet for each stroke. Okay? If you have a magnet in your home, you can do it like this. Okay, how magnets are made? Not all metals are ferromagnetic. In fact, very few are ferromagnetic. Common ferromagnetic metals include iron, cobalt, and nickel. These metals are often used to make other metals such as steel. Most ferromagnetic metals contain one or a mixture of these metals. Nah. This is the before and after how to make king a magnet. Nah. The tiny pieces or particles that make up ferromagnetic materials usually point in many different directions like this. The direction is not good. Yeah. But when they are struck by a magnet, they all line up one direction. In one direction. Nah. In good direction, in good line. This is when they become magnetism. Nah. Okay. That's all for this unit, but you have the homework. In this homework, I want you to open your book, your science book, page 116, 120, and 135. Do it in your book, in your science book. And then use pen. And then don't forget to take a note or take a photo, sorry. I want you to take a photo and submit it in Google Classroom. But you can take a photo properly, yeah? Not blur. Okay? Okay, class. That's all for today. Thank you for your participation to see this video. If you have a question, you can chat on me in whatsapp or google classroom okay see you on the next week bye bye